God will not take heart for you. He says, take heart. Bank on the fact that I have overcome the world. Bank on the fact that I have left my peace on you. The divine sandwich. My peace I give to you, not as the world give. Take heart for I have overcome the world. The sandwich. God is saying, I've given you peace, which is you are protected. Take heart, your responsibility. You don't have to stay here in this divine protectiveness and be anxious. Take heart. Hi, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to speak about be strong and courageous. Now, in Joshua chapter 1, Moses had died and God called to Joshua to take over and he told him, be strong and courageous. God repeated these words to Joshua because he wants it to sink in. And this is for anyone that you are embarking on any journey, destiny journey, leadership journey, in whatever stage in your life, you need to hear these words clearly. Be strong and courageous. Now, the three things I want to elaborate on this is responsibility, recognition, reality, or results. Responsibility, recognition, reality, or results. First of all, when God says, be strong, he did not say, I will make you strong. Those are two different things. He said, be strong. That shows responsibility. Be strong and courageous. There's a scripture in the Bible in 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 6 where David went to war, came back with his men and his wife and children were taken away. So the men were distressed and wanted to stone him. David himself is distressed also because his wife, his wife too has been taken and he's feeling sad. But then he needed to be strong for himself. And the Bible says, and David encouraged himself in the Lord, which means it didn't say that the Lord came to encourage him. David had to refocus. Be strong and courageous when God tells us that it means look up from yourself. Look up from your situation. Look up from your effort to me, your responsibility. God will not do that for you. God says, I'm here with you, but you have a responsibility to look up to me, to hold on to me, to grab to me. That's why scripture says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. God will make you trust him. It is your choice. It is your responsibility. It is your decision. I will trust in the Lord with all my heart and lean not on my own understanding. In all my ways, I will acknowledge him so that he will direct my path. Be strong and courageous. In Joseph chapter 1 verse 5, it says, No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live. For I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will not fail you or abandon you. Now, this is God's assurance, the divine sandwich. Then God said, be strong and courageous for you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land I swore to their ancestors I would give them. It's like God is saying, I am with you. My presence is with you, which is behind you. I have your back. I will go before you and I stand beside you. That is the work of the Holy Spirit in our life as our standby our helper. So you need to know that this responsibility you are taking is not something you do in your own strength. God is not saying be strong in your own power. He's saying be strong in this divine sandwich of like you are in the middle like an egg being protected by the shell. I am the shell covering you. Hmm. And you need to know that if God is your strength, he is the one covering you. He is your shell. He is your protective. So now you can be strong. But you have a responsibility to go ahead and face life. You have a responsibility to go ahead and do what he has called you to do. To lead like Joshua, whether you are leading your family as a husband, as a mother, or whichever role you have, you have that responsibility to do. God will not do that for you. Example of this in the scripture is like that scripture that says, let not your heart be troubled. God will not let not your heart be troubled for you. He is telling you, let not your heart be troubled. It is your responsibility. Same thing with that scripture in John 16 that the scripture says, take heart for I have overcome the world. God will not take heart for you. He says, take heart. Bank on the fact that I have overcome the world. Bank on the fact that I have left my peace on you. The divine sandwich. My peace I give to you, not as the world give. Take heart for I have overcome the world. The sandwich. God is saying, I've given you peace which is you are protected. Take heart, your responsibility. You don't have to stay here in this divine protectiveness and be anxious. Take heart, for I have overcome 
the sense that if God has overcome the world, God has given you victory already. It's a divine sandwich. You need to see it in every stage of your life. God is with me. God is beside me. God is going before me. God is behind me. And this is the number two, recognition of the truth that God is with you. I've already brushed on this. God says to you, I am with you. I will go before you. I stand behind you. I am beside you. It's a sandwich. You are fully protected. So it's like when I am facing life, I am not facing life alone. When I am facing life, I am not going at life in my own wisdom, in my own strength, in my own effort. I have a divine help. Being strong and courageous is not the idea of saying, try to be strong, pretend to be strong, act like everything is okay. Oh, God is good all the time. You know, when they ask you, how are you? You're feeling sick. Just tell them, no, I'm good. I'm well. I'm strong or whatever. This does not mean that it's the denial of facts. It didn't say be strong and act, put up the face. No, it says know that God is with you. Recognize that be strong in the Lord is what scripture says. It is like the thought of knowing if I say that the Lord is my strength, then I need to hold on to him and be strong in holding on to him because I can't go to battle. I can't face life without my strength. Number three, the reality of success and the result of spending time with God. The reality of success is gained when you are strong in the Lord and do what God told Joshua. Study this book of the Lord. Do not let it out of your mouth. Proclaim the word of God and meditate on it day and night. For in it, you will have good success. That's the reality that you have to come to. You know that you have a responsibility to face life and then you recognize that God is with you and you know that in reality, how you are being strong is in studying the word of God, is in staying with God, is in communing with God, in meditating on the word of God. That is where you gain strength because that is where you draw from God. You draw from the resources of God and then it gives you results of good success and then you get to spend time with God and enjoy intimacy with God. Throw your work and it's not about the long hours of prayer. It's about intimacy with God. You know him. Ephesians 6 verse 10, Paul said, A final word, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. This is God telling you, you are not alone. I am with you. I am close. I am not far away. Be strong and be courageous. Recognize your responsibility. Recognize God's presence with you. Recognize that the reality for success is found when you stay strong in God, in studying the word of God, in meditating on the word of God day and night, in allowing the truth of God to overwhelm all the lies that you may have heard or are hearing. And I pray that this video will be a blessing to you and will inspire you and strengthen you in your work with God and in life for you to know that God is with me never to leave. Amen.